With its cool style and great performances, HBO's Boardwalk Empire has kept viewers on the edge of their seats. Well, as the ambitious gangster Lucky Luciano, Vincent Piazza has spent the last few seasons waiting to make the big move. Well, as the series begins its fifth and final season, Lucky is always willing to lend a helping hand. <laughs> you had that deal with Joe DeBoss. We engaged as necessary. Mr. Maranzano would like it to continue. Perhaps one day our paths will cross. That day's today. I beg your pardon. Mr. Maranzano is ready to do business and offer his protection. Against what? Whatever problems might turn up. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. okay. You mean business. Uh, so you're doing business. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first time. Is that the first time you saw it? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I did it, but I didn't. I didn't. What is it like <laughs> when you're watching it? Uh, it's strange. Usually I go deaf the first time. Yeah, I can't listen to myself, mm -hmm. and then I can watch it the second time and actually take something out of it. Yeah, so, so it's seven years between the end of last season, beginning of this one. Uh, and in a sense, look at Luciano is really this pivotal character in, in organized crime, really. He's the first really modern mob boss. Yeah, he's, you know, he's grown up a lot on the show. And we get to see him go from thug to you know, underboss to now trying to find his own vision for what oh, the scary. world should look like on organized crime. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're picking up at a point where he's very focused on trying to achieve that. We were I, talking to Gretchen Mall yesterday about how cool it is to play sort of a period piece, you yeah. know, the 1920s and 30s in America and Atlantic City, the, the costumes and, and the characters you play. What was it like just being a part of that cast and being in that, in that point in time in history? It was... Uh, it was really amazing, uh, you know, sometimes you think the more things change, the more they stay the yeah. same, and, and uh, get learning about the Roaring Twenties and then the depression that followed and, and things like that. It was a massive education and uh, getting to work with wonderful people from top to bottom. It was, uh, I joke around, I was like, it's a moving oil painting we're a part of. You know, it feels like a real slice of history. Yeah. It's very cool. I, I know that early on in your career, you kind of shied away from the Italian-American type stereotype that you feel exists. Yeah. Why did you do this then? Uh, well, it was too hard to pass over, yeah, you know, nice. it's like Martin Scorsese, Terry Winter and HBO are doing yeah. the thing and you, they want you to play Lucky Luciano. It's like, all right, yeah. <laughs> How are you going to say no? How much yeah. do I owe them? <laughs> right. was, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, of course. And, and the bonus was this kind of brought you and your dad even closer because he's from Sicily. Yeah, my father immigrated here. He came here in 1963. And, uh, you know, just learning about the character, he immigrated in, I think, 1909 or something. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to understand the culture better and talk to my father about his experience. And whenever I had a chance to work with Sicilian dialogue on the show, mm -hmm. uh, most people know Italian these days, but it's a kind of an antiquated dialect and getting to speak with my father about it. And wow. I don't know, it was just sure, something to share. Terrific. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right, so. speaking of fun, we have a quiz for you. Uh -oh. Did you know uh -oh. this? Uh -oh. No, I, uh -oh. I heard a rumor. You heard a rumor <laughs> on the street. Well, yeah. Gretchen Mull was here, as we mentioned yesterday. Yeah. She did pretty good on her quiz. In yeah. fact, she got everything right. So there's no pressure, but there's pressure. Uh -oh. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Okay, so. <laughs> like, uh, here we go. Oh, you said bring it. Okay, yeah, here we go. On. First question. You were born in Queens. Which classic rap trio also spent Christmas? Christmas in Hollis. Oh, that's Run DMC. Yes. Yeah. Can nice. you rap anything, Run DMC? I, that, I, I'm going ad lib. I'm going rogue. I need a track to back oh. me up. It's right. Christmas time in Hollis. Hollis Queens. Queens. Mama's, Mama's cooking, cooking chicken and collard, collard greens. greens. There you yeah. go. Very nice. Very nice. Two questions. Willie kicking it off. Yeah. Yeah. DJ right. Wills. Okay. Next up, pizza. Do you fold or not fold? Fold. Yeah. Oh, yes. you got it right. Every time. Every, Every time. time. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Just gotta let the grease drip. Yeah, you gotta let it drip down and the cheese. Clean it up. Okay. We're like, all right. So please use the following in a sentence. Schlep, as in. Schlep to move, to, you know, to schlep things around. To, yeah. To, yeah. yeah, he's got it. Come on. Okay, got it. We'll give it okay, okay. I'll give you that. All right. Yeah. Drive, taxi, or take the subway? Uh, all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> How about you gotta that? Take that? You gotta take one. Well, if I'm going to Queens, I drive. If I'm going to take the subway, uh, if I'm going to go downtown, I'll uh -huh. take the subway. Okay, done. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. 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 and finally, yeah. all right. Please use the following phrase as a proper native of New York. Forget about it. Uh, you know, I'm on the Today Show. Forget about it. <laughs> no. hey, yes! <laughs> Vincent Piazza. Thank you. Well, well, you need a prize. Man, come on, now you know. That's nice. it. Come on, forget about it. The fifth and final season, Boardwalk Empire, premieres this Sunday night on HBO.